Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning into your June. Oh, this can be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and it will have a look overall and pick up on what the cards are trying to tell you, trying to communicate to you in regards to the month of June. So um, look, if you were after a love reading or wanting to see what's coming up in love, if you were after a private reading with me, I am currently providing those. And you'll find my email below in the show more section. So, okay, Gemini, let's have a look and see what is coming up around you. Okay, major transformations potentially big endings or walking away, ending something very significant in your life and bringing in new activity. I feel it's more to do with the transformation though, Gemini. And it could be internal. I think this is you coming up as the Queen of Swords. Um, and also healing taking place, Gemini, with the Star card. Now, you do have Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries that have come up in the reading, so you may be dealing with one of these signs, um, but they're coming up very, very prominently around you. Look, I do want to say that in terms of relationships or anything to do with bonds or unions, I feel like the Ten of Wands is walking into the, the Four of Wands. Um, I feel like you, you, things might get a little bit complicated or complex in those areas. Um, I don't know if there's stubbornness involved or someone threatening to leave or walk away, but you may be faced with those sorts of things uh, this month in June. Now, it it could be you. I feel like the Queen of Swords is really the decision maker. I mean, it may be the Emperor as well. Um, but Aries energy can be quite stubborn. And... I don't know, I think you're putting your foot down on something here, Gemini, something that doesn't sit well with you, something you may feel that you need to communicate, or I don't know if you're trying to communicate to someone and they're acting like the emperor. I don't know if they're thinking they're self-entitled, um, especially if this person does intimidate you, if they're like a manager or a spouse or someone you've been meaning to attract, um, and you're trying to communicate to them, you're trying to get an audience with them, but they're not, not that they're not paying attention, they're not really um, responding in the way you want them to. So maybe you're not going to get the reaction you hoped you would. Um, look, it's not going to come without its challenges. I feel like for you, you've got your work cut out for you, having the Ten of Wands sitting below you here as the Queen of Swords. Um, but I feel like you can have a breakthrough because I feel like breakthroughs are connected to the Star card. So I do think there is a major breakthrough, um, and that can come in many forms, okay, with, with union, with um, relationships, uh, perhaps with work. I don't know if this is exposure, um, fame, uh, the star card, you know, is Aquarian energy. Um, it's, this is a lot of confidence. It's people noticing you. So if this is what you're wanting, you're wanting to be noticed, I think you might just get the audience, the, 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 the person's attention you've been meaning to get. Maybe you've been more subtle about it. Uh, maybe you've been really wanting their attention and, and, and wanting their approval or um, wanting them to see your work, for example. But I think you'll get the chance because I feel with the world card coming up, this is you know a world of opportunity. Doors opening up here for you, Gemini. So I think there's exposure here. Could also be a long distance romance or a connection that takes place um, or online connections really, really take off. Uh, a fast-paced energy to that because the Knight of Wands is traveling right to the Star card. The mystery behind the Death card here, though, I don't know if this is transformation or change. I don't know if you're wanting someone to transform or change for you or you have to be the one to transform or change for them. Uh, but there could be something about this for you this month in June. The Death card can also be secrets um, the subconscious, the subconscious mind. Um, it's a very strong emotional card here. I definitely feel emotions are, are at play with this star card. You have the outpour of emotions uh, coming forward here, and both these characters look to the star card. Um, so if this is you and another person, whatever sign they may be under, 
if you are coming together here, you'll both you'll both get some things off your chest, Gemini. You'll I, I feel like you'll both come to a place where you can both um, have a voice and, and speak your truth and say what it is you need to say. And if you're trying to mediate or heal a situation, um, there's there's healing that is possible. So if you find yourself sort of stuck in a rut, if you've ended something, if you've had a major ending of some kind, you've walked away from a job, for example, you've walked away from a relationship, someone walked away from you, um, or you put an ending to something, if you're wanting to heal from that and pick it back up again, the possibilities are going to be there uh, in June. I feel like the universe will make that happen for you. And it's always a very auspicious card, the world card. Uh, you do have quite a few major arcana cards here, Gemini. So I do feel like it could be a standout month around this birthday period here for you. I mean, for some of you, there could be marriage coming up, marriage or proposals or talking about marriage or moving in with someone. Maybe it's been a very confrontational or intimidating. It's been like a hot topic, a sensitive topic, because the, the emperor is often read as someone who isn't overly approachable. Uh, and if that's coming up, I think it may be pointing to um, something that's been intimidating or something that you've tried to avoid. And now it's almost like here it is. You you can't avoid something any longer. Um, but I do think you're go you're going to come out come out of June feeling refreshed. You're going to come out come out of June on the other end feeling like a different person. And I do feel like. It can be a major transformational period internally or externally in your life. And, you know, you might never be the same again. This might be a new life. This might be a new approach. This might be a major lesson that you will learn and apply. And then you can look back at this month and it's, 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 it's pivotal. It's crucial in your life and, and what it taught you. Because the Queen of Swords, she's full of wisdom. So... The wisdom that you seek, the wisdom that you need to move forward in a situation, I think is, is coming up here for you this month. I really do. And I love that these characters look to the star card. I don't know if there's, this is anything to do with faith or even metaphysical beliefs, but those sorts of ties can be strengthened. You've got the laurel wreath of victory around you here with the world card, Gemini. So victory is yours in a situation. Um, whether you see it or now, whether you see it or not now, it'll actually be worth it. Uh, or it'll actually bring you victory. Or you'll actually come out of top. Win or lose, Gemini, I feel like you're still going to gain something so valuable from this. Whatever this is that you have to encounter or endure or learn from. Um, so I, I, I guess I'm seeing the beauty in this, whatever this is. I'm seeing where, where you can really go from it, where it can take you, where it can lead you. So what you'll take from this is, is very powerful. But there could be someone here wanting to make things right, okay? They might communicate. They might come out of the woodwork, see with the death card and tell you something that has been in has been in, in the back of the mind, in, the, in their subconscious, and it may cause that sort of heaviness and, and complexity. But I think you'll deal with it. Emperor energy is quite a, quite a mature, quite a wise energy. So I think you'll deal with it um, fairly well. I really do. I will leave your reading at that though, Gems. So thank you again so much for tuning in.